actually use and leverage um, the professional uh, opinions and services of non-lawyers. Um, you know, like yourself, you have a high level of expertise in the accounting and the management of businesses. So sometimes you can solve legal problems through business channels and accounting channels, or sometimes the two professionals need to talk um, and intersect and overlap as to what's the best possible solution. So I bring in resources, like a 360 approach to it. I find high level experts if I need to find the high level experts, but uh, uh, legal experts, but I also find experts outside the practice of law. And it's been, um, whether it's accounting, financial planning, um, you know, sometimes it's just experts, uh, like in the field of engineering, if you will, um, or computers, or uh, technology, but I bring the experts together to make sure the client um, has a full 360 perspective on what's the best solution. Yeah, I think that's a tremendous value to the client that gives them the best solution at the, the most efficient and affordable price. Sure, and what clients um, don't necessarily see, but I think they've experienced is when you have uh, an accountant, a lawyer, a financial planner, and they all overlap to some degree in certain areas, if those three service professionals aren't talking to one another, you might get three different opinions. Or you might get an opinion that's fragmented and you don't know what to do with it or not do with it. Is that a lawyer issue? Is that a county issue? Is that a financial planning issue? So I'm a big proponent of getting the professional heads, if you will, into one meeting or one relationship to ensure the client receives the right level of service and there's a level of efficiency about it. That's just my personal opinion. I think, um, uh, just like my example, if there's too many lawyers, you get too many different legal opinions. It's not cost effective. It's not efficient. And ultimately, I think the victim is the business owner. True. Very good advice.